In this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to leave comments in your PowerPoint presentation. So without further ado, let's get started. So in order to add your first comment, here's what you can do. You can go up here to this comment section and click on comment. And then what it's gonna do is it's going to not only open up this pane on the right, but it's also gonna show you this comment icon right here. So you can actually move this comment icon wherever you would like on the slide by just clicking and dragging. And then let's say you wanna say, hey, I want this date to change to not say May 2020, but maybe say March 2020. So now when someone else goes into this PowerPoint presentation, they can see what you left them in terms of feedback or changes that you want to be made to your PowerPoint presentation. All right, so another thing is, is let's say you are going through your slides and then all of a sudden you notice something right here, you wanna change this image you can right click and then you could say new comment and then you can say change this visual and hit enter now this comment icon is actually going to appear right here and you can just click and drag it over that so unfortunately there's not a very quick shortcut on how to add comments in the exact location you want without clicking and dragging it after you type it but another cool thing is if you have Microsoft 365 your name's gonna show up here and then you can actually have a conversation with people if you have this document shared with other people through your OneDrive account or even other sharing file methods. Another cool feature is that you can actually reply to comments. Now, I'm not sure why you'd wanna to reply to your own comment, but let's say someone else left a comment, you can then reply to it share it back with them and they can see your response to your comments. So maybe they're like, hey, I just made changes to this slide, check it out, and then hit enter. And then they can see who it is and what kind of changes you probably made on that slide. Another thing is, is let's say you're trying to sift through all your comments. You can go from previous or to next. So this is just a quick way to sift through all of them. And then if I hit next again, it's gonna say PowerPoint reached the end of the presentation. Do you wanna continue from the beginning? You'd say continue. And then it's gonna bring you back to that first comment that you left on this PowerPoint presentation. So this is just a very efficient way to see all the different comments in your PowerPoint presentation and make sure that you've gone through all of them. Now, let's say you left a comment, but now you're like, okay, they made the change. I don't need it anymore. You can always delete the comment if you click this X right here. All right, so then once you click the X, the comment icon's actually going to disappear so it's no longer showing. But if I went to, let's say, this slide right here and I had this comment, I could hit the X and now that one disappeared as well. So if you wanna ever leave a new comment, you can do it right here or you can right click and then hit new comment. Let's say you don't wanna actually see the comments anymore. You can actually click out of this window and then you can focus on design whatever you need to do on this PowerPoint presentation. But if you wanna go back to it, you just go back to insert and then hit comments. Or even if you right click, you can do new comment. Now open up the comment pane right here as well. Now another thing that's cool is if you go to this drop down menu, you can hit this and then you can say move. All right, so then what it's gonna give you is this icon right here for your cursor. So if I click and drag this, it's now gonna allow me to see my comments maybe on the left side of my screen if I'm doing something over here or if I wanna do it over here, you can also change the sizing of how big it is. Let's say you wanna put it back to where it was. You can just click and hold on the right and now it's gonna merge into that side, allow you to see that side comment pane again. Another thing is you can do size, you can do that there, or if you want to close, you can also do that. So that drop down menu can come very handy if you do wanna move around your comment section on your screen. So that is everything within the comment section in PowerPoint. If you guys did find this video helpful, make sure you give it a thumbs up. And if you could subscribe, I would greatly appreciate the support. Also, if you are interested in learning all things about PowerPoint, I do have a course on Udemy. So I'll link to that in the description below. But without further ado, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day and I hope to see you guys in future videos. Thanks.